Shares of RTX, formerly known as Raytheon, plunging after disclosing an issue with its Pratt & Whitney engines. On pace for the worst day, the stock is, in more than three years, down about 11% right now. Phil LeBeau joins us now with more on exactly what happened and what this disclosure means for the company. Phil. Well, well, it's a little bit uncertain what it means long term. Near term, it's going to be a $500 million hit that they're going to take because of the engine inspections that need to be done. We're not going to get too wonky here, but let me explain exactly what RTX is going to be doing through its Pratt & Whitney division. They will be inspecting 200 of these geared turbofan engines in the coming weeks. A thousand of them will be checked over the next year. The issue, they're looking for powdered metal contaminants. Not all of them are believed to have these contaminants, but those that do, they will then have those uh, parts replaced. And all of this brings up the question, well, how many of these engines are out there? And what does it mean for the airlines that have planes that are using these engines? Well, there are about 3,000 in service worldwide. The Pratt geared turbofan engines power about 40% of the Airbus A320 Neos worldwide. So it's an extremely popular plane, use an extremely popular engine. But they're going to have to inspect these, which means some of the airlines are going to have to have some downtime here where some of the aircraft will have to have these engines pulled off and inspected. Here is the CEO of RTX talking with us earlier today about the process. We've got to increase the shop capacity to do these accelerated inspections. We've got 13 overhaul shops today. We're going to add six more. Uh, so there's tooling and test equipment that needs to be put in place. Uh, we're going to have to put some rotable assets in place to uh, replace engines as we pull them. Uh, and we're going to have to um, try and work with the airlines to, to compensate them for some of the costs associated with this. Take a look at shares of Delta and Spirit, two of the airlines that fly uh, aircraft, A320neos, that have these geared turbofan engines. We should point out, this is not a flight safety issue. They're not grounding these planes, but they will need to do these inspections, some of them in the coming weeks, others over the course of the next year. Also, as you take a look at shares of RTX, which, as you mentioned, uh, Morgan, it's had the worst day since, what, to March of 2020. This is going to be a $500 million hit, at least initially. That's the expectation. Longer term, they have not been able to put a price tag on how much this is going to cost the company. Yeah, it was incredible how much this dominated the earnings call, the conference call as well, yeah. this, this uh, issue. And the fact that this very much, Phil, overshadowed what was a very strong Q2. It was a raise very by strong. the company for the full year. Commercial, aftermarket, defense. Doing really well, too, as you see all that restocking of supply tied to Ukraine. Yep. Uh, and yet this has been the driving factor for this name today. Right. And it's partially that they haven't been able to say, we know how much this is going to cost long term. Yeah. Is this going to be devastating to RTX, let's say, over the course of the next year, or will it be a blip? Odds are it's probably not going to be long term. Keep in mind, they have a, a, a decent sense of how many of these air, aircraft engines they think are going to have to have parts replaced. They do not think it's a large number, but they have to do these inspections. And again, it's not a flight safety issue. It would be different if they said ground these planes. That is not what is going on here. Very quickly, where does this powdered metal come from? It was part of the manufacturing process. And they first discovered an issue going all the way back to 2020 as they started investigating. Then they said, OK, here's where we think the impact is. It does not impact the geared turbofan engines that are in production or in the manufacturing process right mm -hmm. now. All right, Phil LeBeau, thank you very much. And Power Lunch will be right back.